All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. We're playing more of the bunker. When we left off, we replaced the fuse and found out that there's radiation leak downstairs. And we need to get one of these NBC suits, these radiation suits, in order to go repair it. And we found out that whoever attacked the UK um, threw anthrax in one of their bombs, and that might be what killed everybody in the bunker. Scary stuff, that anthrax. Okay, safety guidelines. Protective clothing equipped. Respiratory equipment equipped. Radiation detector equipped. Yep, we've got probably all of that stuff. And we gotta ensure that all the suit gajiggers are working right. Yeah, okay. This door only opens in an emergency. But what qualifies as an emergency? I do wonder. Is there like a freak out button in the other room? I guess. Are you having a Bell's Posley moment again? You don't have everything you need. You don't say. Okay, well, did I miss a piece of shit on the walls or something? The map said there was a bunch of dead people. I got that part. I guess there was something else in this room that I needed. I have the suit. Do I need to have, like, the mask, too? Oh! Gotta have the stupid radiation box, because that matters. Like, what if you found radiation in this fucking building? What then? What would you do, for real? What would you actually do? Because, like, you're stuck in here. You, you can't go outside, away from radiation leak. It's not like there's a reactor or something. You're just kind of fucked. Okay, I guess that was everything. Let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? So, what do you guys think about this character so far? I think he's a bit of a whimpering piece of crap. But maybe that's supposed to point out that if you were, like, living in a bubble, a isolated existence, like, maybe you would become a piece of crap. I don't know that I completely believe that, though. I think certain things of maturity come with age. When you're fucking 30 around a, a grown woman, I feel like you'd grow a pair at some point. Because his mother certainly was, like, a tough lady. Or else she wouldn't have been able to deal with all those assholes for years. Oh shit, they killed everyone! Was that what happened? They had to quarantine everybody and kill them before the infection spread? Maybe that's why the, the door was locked. To the upstairs, because... Everybody downstairs was... Killing each other for years. So they just stayed upstairs until the thing said that everyone else was dead. But that means there's probably dead bodies somewhere down here. Okay. I mean, that's kind of spooky, but the computer said everyone's dead, and I have no reason to believe anyone's alive, because I talked over the loudspeaker that I'm turning shit off. So, like, if someone was gonna come kill me, they would have done it by now. All the fucking doors upstairs are unlocked and left alone. Okay, so did you read how to fix this by chance? Because I sure didn't. Ooh, that looks friendly. Was this door open? Does this have the bacon info I need? My infiltration unit running okay. Cleaned out and replaced filters. Check back up just to be sure. Readings are a bit high, but Frank says no need to replace at the moment. Probably just as well. I'm concerned about our stock level of filters for the main unit. We're chewing through them a lot faster than Spec says, due to higher outdoor rad than expected. Frank says he'll have a word with Bishop about stocks and sorting out the backup longer term. Okay, so I guess the filters are probably fucked. We might not even have any. Oh well. If our character dies, that's a damn shame. 
Yeah, 30 good years of wanking alone in a bunker with his mother. I'm sure it's fine. So, filter effectiveness, 71%. Status active. Critical failure detected. Filter broken or obstructed. Replace filter immediately. Disconnect the pressure at the main valve before continuing. Backup air filtration system offline. Filter effectiveness, zero. Okay. Well, that's exciting. Did I really need to click the button to turn it off? You could probably just leave all this shit on. The generator makes a set amount of stuff. Alright, well, where's the main valve? Is it over here? Oh, are you fucking for real, kid? I can't see anything. Good job. Proud of you. Guess we turn the thing off over here first. Or it could just give me another weirder view. Oh, I gotta press the button a bunch of times because our wuss hands can't do the thing. Did your mother never teach you to use a pipe wrench, dude? Come on now. I'll be completely honest. If I was alone in a bunker, I'd be walking around naked 90% of the time. I'd be the j biggest freaking deviant on the planet. Who's, I mean, really, what else is there in life left to do but to do a bunch of weird shit alone? All right, well, that thing looks fucked, whatever that is. Like, this is all crunked up. So that says radiation. Is this the seal to outside? I don't know. Whatever it is, probably not safe to fuck with it. Okay, here's the filters. These actually just look like standard air filters you buy at the grocery store, but... spray-painted black because they're edgy and shit. Actually, I bet that's exactly what this was. I bet these are cheap props bought at, like, the local hardware store. So you put the filter in here. I'm guessing, and then it pushes the air through it, gets all the juice out. Where do you put used filters, though, where they don't, like, radiation poison the whole place? Ooh. I guess that's the money. So, this one's kind of pushed out a little bit. Is that the one that's all fucked? Yeah, these are totally just spray-painted, like, regular air conditioner filters that just been slapped into, like, a toaster. Which, I gotta- I gotta admit, is actually a pretty smart idea. Like, even in the movie industry, it's about working smarter, not harder, when it comes to... ...fixing things, or making props, or designing different things. Like, all those old Stormtrooper helmets were just molded onto paper mache originally when they were made for Star Wars, for example. Ooh, that thing is properly fucked. Although usually air filters like this don't break like that. They like rupture in the middle and all the air goes through in one spot. I need to get rid of this damaged filter first. Oh, is that what this thing's for? Oh, I'll bet. Okay, well, the rad filter thing should be settling down. Our little rad meter. What? Why does it start playing a clip of music sometimes? Is that just an old bug that's left over? You guys are hearing that too, right? I don't have anything running in the background. I closed everything. Alright, well, it's not the weirdest thing I've experienced today, so fuck it. That was a very loud thing for what is essentially a cardboard filter that has been spray-painted silver. 
But hey, I mean, little Timmy is growing up. He's learning how to do maintenance on his home. And it's always important to feel really comfortable in your own home. I need to turn the pressure valve back on. Yeah, all right. Where are all the dead bodies? These are the important questions, I feel like. Because I want to play with corpses. Why is it click on the ladder instead of click on the valve? Is he gonna fall like a- like a spaz? Oh, he totally is about to fall and break a leg. Oh, I call bullshit. Complete bullshit. Oh, is he gonna fucking fall off and break that off? You know that that can physically hold a whole person's weight, that valve handle? Oh, what a shitty spaz. Of course, it couldn't be a real villain, it could just be a dude being a spaz. It wasn't even that far of a fall! Come on! Ugh. Just really. Are you concussed? I've been concussed, man. It takes more than that. Oh, did you actually? Maybe he hit his head on that block. Never mind. Oh, he broke his arm. Oh, yeah, that will happen. He smashed his arm on that handle. Does he know what to do? He certainly seems stable enough while going into shock. I gotta give him props, actually. Going into shock is nothing to fuck around with. Okay, I have to click to give him the juice to go up the stairs. Come on. Up you go. You should know of all people that only you can help you. Go get the good drugs. You can do it, Timmy. The good drugs are coming. Gotta go and pop morphine pills like the Martian. I love the Martian when he's popping like morphine pills on his potatoes instead of ketchup. Oh shit, yeah. Come on. You can do it. The good pills are only a few flights of stairs away, Timmy. Come on. We're gonna get the morphine pills and the heroin and the... The... What the hell did they do before all of this? There was like a thing. Opium. Gotta get us the opium. Yeah, 1980s opium. Oh, fuck yeah. Give me some old pre-wartime opium. Ooh, dead body. It's time for surgery. I mean, I gotta give this actor credit. He's good at acting like a complete man-child. Ooh, boy. Oh, it's bloody. Oh, the bone came out. Oh, shit. Oh, he's probably right. He's probably straight up fucked at this point. Yeah? Yeah? You gonna... You gotta have to do a thing about that. You scissors, man, you have other clothing? Oh. You know, I've seen this before. Back when I was in space camp, they were making their beds in the locker, like, barracks. Because we did aviation challenge first. And... The kid that was making his bed tried to move some lockers and they fell on his leg. And his... Like, it just popped right out of his shin, like three inches of it. Oh, that was one hell of a thing. Ooh. Oh, we're going for the good stuff. We're going right for the gas. Mmm. Feeling better, Timmy? Oh, I know you are. Some good shit. I don't know that he has ever gone through training and had to set a broken arm, because I went through that in Scouts, but he's just a weirdo in a bunker. I don't know that the doctor taught him how to do that before getting shot by Weirdy. 
Also, uh, that doesn't really look like bone. That's it's more like a uh, piece of wood. Did he just get some wood jammed in his arm? Or is that bone? I feel like that might not be bone. Oh, fuck. Oh, I just clenched. Oh, fuck. I've had a broken femur, and I have felt what it feels like when bones jangle around inside your body. It's awful. And she's no better. Vomiting, bleeding, diarrhea, liver failure, it's got to be. It can't be radiation sickness. Look, these. Of course it can. This place probably leaks like a sieve. It was built by the lowest bidder. No one thought there'd be a real war. I know Great Ship said that we'll be safe here, but honestly, George, do you believe him? I'm sorry. No, don't worry. We've all been under a lot of pressure. What a cringy, creepy kid. I like how this fucking nurse doesn't see shit. She's just like, kids just fucking around. I've given up on life. Fuck it. You never let it for Mrs. Harrison. Yes, but there were two unopened bottles there on Monday. We, we have to keep on top of the stop. We can't have... What is it? Nothing. But Somebody's stealing pills. <laughs> Brr! Brr! Boy, come touch my blood! <laughs> oh, that's something. Okay, take more of the good drugs. More of the good drugs. There's a bottle of the good drugs on the shelf. Don't pass out. You'll fucking die if you pass out right now. Larry's here for you. We need the good drugs. The good drugs. I'll be for real, though. When I had a broken femur, it was literal hell. Like, I was left on, a, on an x-ray table for way longer than I should have been, and my pain meds wore off while I was, like, enjoying... Warning. Whoa, what does the warning say? Laudanin... Laud... Lid, Lindane... Is approved for... Fuck it, I don't care. Drink the... Juice. Do I have to read this? Lindane is approved for topical treatment of lice and scabies in patients who have either failed to respond to adequate doses or intolerant of other approved therapies. Do not apply this medication to face, nose, or mouth. Flush with water if you have medication in any of these areas. Hey, that's not the good drugs. We don't want that. Back. Which is the good drugs? That's... Oh, is that what- Oh, okay, he's trying to make up the thing. He's not trying to medicate himself. Oh, don't- Don't put that in your- Don't put that in your- Inside your cast. No, 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 that's going to hurt. You're going to fall again, and that's going to, like, jab into you and make you bleed to death. Also, that is not blood. That is totally not blood. What even is that? I've seen blood, like, I've dealt with animals bleeding, me bleeding, other people bleeding, I've put arms back in sockets, it's not a good time. But, uh, yeah, for real, like, going into shock on an exam table because they took your, your leg out of traction, which pulls the bones apart, because I broke my femur, oh, that shit's just awful. And you have these weird fever dreams, like, where you've fallen out of consciousness, and you just think, you just envision yourself leaving the hospital with your shit together. It is just a weird experience. Well, maybe they're not fever dreams, they're like, passed out hallucinations. It's... Being really in pain, even with a high pain tolerance, is awful. The break, I should mention, is back here. He patched it right here. So, that's not gonna work out for you in the long term, bud. So, I guess the challenge now is to try and live with a broken arm. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, that's right, we crunked the, the lever downstairs and radiation is leaking into the facility via the air ducts. Yep, good job, Timmy, you're fucked. So, what do we do, man? I don't know what we do. Do we go to the emergency room?
I guess there's really no other option besides that. So do we have to go out the poop chute, or what? No, we don't even get to have a level, it's just radiation. Is this where we start going insane? I mean, you weren't careful, man, you're proper fucked now. But, uh, guess what, guys? One more episode is coming where we die, I hope. Um, so that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining me for more The Bunker. I hope you stick around for the final installment. And I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and toodaloo, everyone. Ooh, cliffhangers. Ooh.